Hi everybody, this is Dave Mason from IS Photographic. I want to thank you for joining me. We're going to take a look at Melissa and Elias's wedding album and talk a little bit about its design. The wedding took place in Austin, Texas, and the first page of the album is a great way to illustrate that. With the skyline uh, there behind them, I love the way these particular series of images came together, the interaction as you look from left to right, and also the layout of the page with their names, the colors in particular, uh, which were sampled from her flower bouquet. The first spread is uh, Melissa's friend Molly's house. Molly lives right around the corner from Melissa on King Street, right near uh, the campus in Austin. And uh, Melissa got ready there, and so we see the front door of the house, as well as a photo of Melissa starting her makeup, and a little shot there in the corner of some makeup. The next spread is the first of our groom, Elias. Just a nice candid moment in front of his house talking on the phone, uh, then having a cigarette, just trying to relax, certainly thinking about the activities that are coming up later in the day. And then lastly, I did ask him to give me a nice smile for the camera, which he did. The next spread is quite a bit of fun. We've got Melissa's son, Daniel, uh, relaxing on the bed again at Molly's house. I like the imagery here because of the colors from the bedspread and then just the fun that comes along as Melissa decides to give him a tickle. So now we come to uh, some images of Melissa and her jewelry. Obviously a close-up of her pearls as she's putting on um, her earring. All fully candid images. Um, she does make a little eye contact in the first one, but no real instructions from myself. Um, on a side note, I loved the dress. I'm going to talk about the dress quite a bit later, but for now we're just looking uh, at the jewelry. Here we have a group portrait of the girls using available light and a wide angle lens. And directly across from that, quite the opposite, an available light portrait of Melissa by herself using a 50 millimeter f1.8 lens for very shallow depth of field, but very pleasing lighting, very pleasing focus drop off. The next spread is Melissa and Daniel arriving at the courthouse where the ceremony will take place. They're being greeted by some friends there in the inset images, but the real centerpiece of the spread, uh, the black and white image on the right where the bride is passed through the metal detector. Now she's being wanded by the security officer, which you definitely don't see at every wedding. And uh, the best part, if you look in the background at the girls all looking on and uh, laughing at Melissa as they enjoy that. The image on the left of this spread, definitely a little bit more somber. Um, it's right down to it at this point, and Elias knows it. Some nerves there as he waits. On the right half of the spread, Melissa waiting as well with the kids. Quite a bit more relaxed, uh, but the real star of this show is the shot of Daniel holding up the ring. Here we have the beginning of the actual ceremony. Melissa and Elias have entered the courthouse. Um, they are exchanging vows and, and having a nice glance at each other in the image there on the left. Love this series of images because of the colors. The blue from the courthouse definitely meshed well um, with their skin tones, uh, with Elias's tie. Um, very nice lighting as well, unexpected from the courthouse. Continuing on with the rest of the, the ceremony images, uh, I did something a little bit different here in that I used more square crops throughout the album design. Uh, I guess it was a little bit of a conscious decision to do things differently. I've, I've definitely used squares in the past, but not to the extent that I did in this book. Um, and if you've been paying attention up to this point too, you'll notice the backgrounds for most of the spreads. Um, in fact, all of the spreads are white which in the past I've done black quite a bit. Again, just changing things up. This next image, definitely one of my favorite group shots from 2009. I turned around from my perch where I was standing to photograph the ceremony and just saw how relaxed everyone was, how much they're enjoying themselves. And I just kind of shouted, everybody up here. And they looked, 
Um, but they didn't really change their expressions much. Um, I was just able to make sure that I have their faces clearly in view. So we have a nice, relaxed, uh, candid portrait. I do have to confess that there was more than one image used um, as a few people were like scratching their noses and things like that in one of the images. So cheat a little bit, combined a couple different images to make this one. I don't think anybody's going to complain uh, too much. The image on the left is a, a nice candid, pretty straightforward of Melissa and Elias just having a nice release right after the ceremony. Uh, that's shot with a wide angle lens held low, just pointed up towards the sky. And on the right half of the spread, just a nice image of her flowers. The next spread is the only real formal portrait we did for the day. Um, Elias's family was here from El Paso. Uh, typically, we spend 20 or 30 minutes doing formal portraits uh, throughout the day at the wedding, but here we just needed the one. This spread, I love, love, love it. Uh, I can't say enough about this particular image. Again, my wide-angle lens uh, pointed skyward. I think we're starting to see a little bit of a theme here at the courthouse and the use of equipment. Uh, but at any rate, the interesting thing about this image was that I didn't really even notice it uh, when I first arrived back from Texas and was just kind of scrolling through the images for blog use. It wasn't until I really sat down to design the album that I discovered it and how much I liked it and decided that it had to be its own spread, one of my favorite portraits of the couple. This series uh, are portraits of Melissa and Elias in front of their favorite French restaurant downtown. Looking at each other, giving the camera a nice look and a smile, um, and then a candid as they, they walk away. You might notice at this point I've switched to a longer lens, so uh, a different look for the images. I'm using my uh, 80 to 200 millimeter uh, image stabilized lens for these. Here we've got Melissa and Elias running in front of the Capitol building on Congress Avenue. I'm running with them with the wide angle lens, uh, shooting in continuous mode with continuous focus. The image on the right, totally different approach um, using the 80 to 200 millimeter lens. I am stationary as Melissa does a little runway strut towards me. Um, I mentioned earlier how much I like the dress. I've been waiting for a bride to wear just a nice, small, simple, knee-length dress, something that she can really move in, and was very pleased when I discovered that that was what Melissa had for a dress. At this point, we've reached the reception, and I hadn't mentioned up until now, but Melissa is my sister, and she had insisted early on that when we got to the reception, I put the gear away and just kind of enjoy myself with her. Um, typically at a wedding, I'll photograph the entire reception in detail, but here, just want to make sure and get um, some nice images of the decor, the details, some of the color. And finally, some of the last images of the evening. We've got uh, the cake there, which a friend of Melissa's made for her. Did a wonderful job. Melissa and Elias cutting the cake, and just a quick little look um, of the piece of cake they cut out with the flower. And the last page of the album, uh, Melissa and Elias toasting some friends. And again, uh, their names using the same text, the same colors from her bouquet from earlier. I think it's a great way to finish up her design. Thanks again. This was Dave Mason from IS Photographic. <laughs>